what is going on cancer gang gang i bumped this before we even got started child but i'll fix this later i ain't got time welcome or welcome back the channel you guys hopefully these messages reach each and every one of you all in the best of health and spirit please always keep in mind that the messages are general cancer so if in the event you find that they are resonating always feel free to share down below in the comments give the video a thumbs up my dears if you haven't already done so thank you thank you thank you in advance to everyone who does and without any further ado <clears throat> let's get into this chat child let's see who we got in the building skyla welcome 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 mr austin what is popping mo lover is in the building Letitia is here the chosen one welcome k got that so a1 cyrus greetings to you sharon happy easter to you and yours as well my love taha is in the building anthony period pooh shades guiding light is in the house Nisha T is in the house. Miss D to you. Goddess K is in the building. Stacy is here. Rose Gold. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yoni Adore. Janae Monica. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live. I'm good. Nivia. Hola, hola, my love. Charlotte Simone is in the building. What's good? IJ Eve Spitter is in the house Sojourner is in the building Beautiful one What's up, what's up David Jerica Welcome, welcome, welcome Hope you're having a blessed day as well Selena Welcome to the live Intuitive me Colette is in the building What is good What is good <laughs> Carly Tumbai son, I met someone new last night and we kicked it. All right, all right, all right. Suki is in the building. What's good? What's good? Still here with you, true. Period, honey. I appreciate the love and support per usual. All right, let's see. I forgot to take this deck out. So let's see, Cancer, what is going on in your energy? Damn. All right. What's the first message? Unexpected miracles and countless blessings. That's your first message, Cancer. You are receiving unexpected miracles and countless blessings. Can I get somebody to type that one into the chat? Those of y'all catching the playback, there you go, honey. You can type it into the comments below. I am receiving unexpected miracles and countless blessings. And that is the title, child. Um, a lot of y'all wasn't in yesterday, and I forgot I didn't go live yesterday, but they fixed the issue with the tube, child. So your girl can finally see. Oh, child, I just picked the first card so I could try to uh, focus the camera and look what the card end up being. Abundance, cancer. Somebody could be going to the beauty 
supply store or need to go to the beauty supply store. These Kyrie shells is making me think of hair accessories. And of course, we get those from the beauty supply child. I know people get them from other places as well. Like, and when I say get them, I'm talking about hair accessories, not specifically Kyrie shells. But um, that just made me think of the beauty supply store. But you see how spirit already letting you know about this abundance that's coming in, child. That's all I'm saying, Cancer. Pay attention. What's the next message for Cancer? Next message. Somebody could be getting an apartment approval. Or you already got this approval. On cloud nine, yeah, okay, number 11 could be significant, 11, 11 could be significant for some of you guys, somebody is taking flight, something is taking off, leaving the distractions behind, I'm also hearing like, um, obstacles are being obliterated that means they being removed cancer from your pathway here no more distractions no more obstacles what else Okay, we ain't talking, child. Big changes lie ahead. Now we have the dice with the chance message. Uh, rolling the dice, taking a risk, betting on oneself. Somebody could be wearing pink. Maybe your hair is pink color as far as like dye. Um, somebody could have pink nails, fingernails, toenails. I don't know, child. Take it how it resonate. Uh, a pink furry robe or slippers, <laughs> rug. I don't know, child. What else? Number 19 is on the board. Next up, we got action sunflowers. Some of you guys could definitely also be purchasing fresh flowers. It's making me think of spring. So spring cleaning. Look at that opportunity. Spring cleaning, you cleaning up cancer, getting tidy, sprucing up your home. Some of y'all could be sprucing up the home with flowers or new decor, getting rid of the old and stepping into the new, purchasing something new. Uh, some of you guys, your birthday could be July 11th. If it is, tap in, my dear. Others of you could be born on July 17th or July 19th because we got 17 on the opportunity card. Some of you may be 34 years old or you could be turning 34 this year. March 4th could be significant, but take that as it resonates. Um, 2011. 2011 could be significant for some of you, 2019 or 2017, some sort of major event change could have occurred in one's life. So take that how it resonates for some of you. Uh, the three and the four put it together. We got a number seven frequency. Some of you guys could be a life path number seven. This is telling me that something is happening on time with this action that's taking place. Okay. So something's happening on time. Definitely stepping in alignment with your divine purpose okay um <clears throat> 19 is a 10 so there's something that is definitely coming to an end and the two the 11 uh the 11 is a two but it's making me think of like a runway pathway some of y'all could be planning a trip I don't know. Take that how it resonates. Somebody could also, maybe you taking a trip to another state, city. Some of you, it could even be foreign travel. So once again, take it how it resonates. But it's also making me think of being in alignment. Some of you, this is representative of union. Also, spirit is saying, be wise, be aware of the energies that you put out because it's going to be coming back to you 100 fold and it's going to be coming back rapidly. Y'all got to understand we coming up on a 
um, solar eclipse in the sign of Aries. Aries is fire energy. Shit is happening quickly. You're going to be seeing a lot of changes that's happening when it comes to like world events during this eclipse season as well. Keep in mind, Aries is the emperor. And when we go outside of our own lives and we look at the external world, the emperors, those who are in charge, could be getting eclipsed the fuck out during this time that means there could be people leaders world leaders falling from power and that's something y'all are going to witness for those of y'all paying attention to things like world news and things of that nature um but we'll get into that if it come out later child Doors are being opened to you, Cancer. Doors that you thought were once closed off are now being opened the freak up for you, all right? And I did say something earlier about a, an approval on a new place. So some of y'all could be getting some new keys in regards to a new home. Let's slide this down up out of the way. Good luck is on your side. Nationwide is on your side. Liberty Mutual. <laughs> Chat, that is funny. These messages be just popping up in my head. Um, in God we trust. 2020 could have been significant for some of you guys as well, but you know, 2020 been been significant for everybody on a damn world scale. And like I said, a lot of things are definitely coming into fruition during this time. Um, just continue to put your faith in the divine, put your trust in God in the Most High. Uh, we got number 10 on this card. July 10th could be your birthday, but take it how it resonates. Some of y'all could also be a life path number one. Some of y'all are starting to realize that you've been surrounding you a whole dime out here trying to fuck around with these pennies, these rusted, dusty, musty, <laughs> rusty, dusty, musties. Ain't nobody fucking with the brownies, child, Okay. And I'm when I say the brownies, I'm talking about low value, low vibing ass individuals. Okay, number twenty five, June twenty fifth could be your birthday, but we got abundance coming in, child. And so, therefore, some of you guys are also going to be um, uh, like letting go of certain friend circles during this time. They gonna be getting the fuck eclipsed out. Okay. For those of you who that is going to be like a focus, I see someone letting go of a friend connection. And if it's not one person, then it could be groups, friend groups, co-workers. Some of y'all, it could be a job. And that's why it's like, I no longer work with these same people anymore. Now you're meeting new people. Um, also seeing like greater gains in assets coming your way so can i get somebody to type i'm receiving greater gains and assets child period falling out with people this eclipse gonna be something else child in aries aries energy can become violent child angry it's definitely aggressive energy. It is action oriented. We ain't waiting on no motherfucking body. Yeah, you know I'm saying <laughs> we're out here making decisions without second guessing. You are having more confidence. Some of you will find that you have more confidence in making certain decisions that maybe you've been kind of going in back and forth in between. This 11 is making me think of like two of wands. So there are multiple paths two different paths specifically for some two choices that you've been having a difficult time choosing between well you're gonna start close the closer we get to april 8th honey you making decisions like it's nothing cancer and that is what's helping you to tap into your abundance okay because we're letting go of indecision 
there there is no room no space for indecision and indecisiveness during this time boundaries is here that's a number 26 june 26 could be your birthday cancer spirit is saying expect resources some of you guys are receiving resources from like legal matters some of y'all this could even be through getting a divorce but again take the messages as they resonate i'm also seeing six 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 um, some of you guys could be getting that signs and synchronicities from your angels, your guides, your ancestors, the most high, uh, sending in signs. I can't stand whenever I find a music mix that I really like and it's got ads. It's music, bro. We got to hear the music in a steady flow. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, I can't just keep skipping while I'm reading. Yeah, you know I'm saying it's different if I wasn't doing this. Anyways, what was I saying? Faded events. I'm hearing fate is finding you, Cancer. The things that you want, they've been looking for you, child. Sometimes we think, oh, I'm waiting on this and waiting on that to take place in my life. And, and what you want is waiting on you, actually. Okay. I see that you have been setting boundaries, standing on your boundaries as well with the fence card here. Some of y'all could literally have a white fence around your house, uh, a park in your neighborhood. Some of you might be spending more time outside in nature once again. <laughs> Child, look what just flipped out my hand. Things are changing, Cancer. The wheel is turning. You've been manifesting newness all around, honey. Queen of Wands. Your confidence is what's spinning this wheel right now. So the more you remain in an energy and space of confidence and trust in whatever it is that you believe, spiritually speaking, religiously speaking, the more you usher in greatness and reward resources, the more tapped in and tuned in you are with nature, with the divine, with the universe, and things go and move steadily it's like a steady stream honey of wealth and abundance coming your way can i get you to type it in the chat there's a steady stream of wealth and abundance flowing to me yes there are is because you're the empress even for my masculine honey keep in mind i always say don't let the gender on the cars f you up because when we're talking to rope we all have masculine and feminine aspects of ourselves and the feminine aspect of those of you who identify as masculine okay um the feminine is showing up because you're in an energy of receiving the feminine side of things is the receiving end of the spectrum cancer um, some of you guys spirit is saying you're climbing to new heights of success at the top of the motherfucking wheel, Cancer. Can I get you to type? I am climbing to new heights of success because that's exactly what you're going to be seeing here. And the confidence is key, child. Because if you can't be confident in what you create and in what the divine is doing for you, then you're going a against the grain and we can't do that we can't be out here doing that oh my goodness split the deck and look what i got ace of pentacles some of you guys are also within the next year something could be started during this time 
but within the next year honey you might be receiving some sort of inheritance from a family situation it could be a new home it could be financial rewards or resources take it how it resonates but that's not going to be for everybody Some of y'all can have a child that's in school. They doing a fundraiser. I just heard fundraiser. Or maybe you're doing some sort of fundraiser. It could be a fundraiser taking place in like a church or something. I don't know, child. What's the distractions message? Your name could start with D C A B G L or O. Okay, now that can be your first name, middle name, last name, initials, D, C, C, D, A, B, B, A, G, L, L, G, and O. <laughs> what else? What's on this distraction? Talk to me. I feel like somebody got a lot to say to you you cancer but maybe they just don't know how to say it or something yeah because what the freak five of swords mm, hating bitches King Dingling. Some of y'all having a fallout with a fire sign. Some of y'all may have a fallout with a father figure during this solar eclipse too. Keep in mind, solar sun. The sun represents the masculine, the father. Some of y'all got some issues with a father. What's the chance? Yeah, some of y'all maybe there's a father that could also want to heal let's think about two sides to the coin there could be a falling out there could be a healing that takes place to, within a situation so if you already had some sort of fallout you may end up healing a connection with a father or father figure okay for those of y'all who that resonates with and you don't see it coming the moon what else on this chance 1978 could be somebody's birthday year like birth year Eight of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Somebody got some money coming to them. And keep in mind, that's another eight. So, infinity. Be wise about the energies you put out right now. It's going to... I'm trying to tell you, it's coming back so quick and unexpected, child. You're going to be like, what? So, be careful with the negative mindset okay allowing people to anger you and frustrate you don't talk too much shit <laughs> like in a negative way you know how sometimes especially if you around certain people and they gossiping and shit don't get caught up in gossip because it's like that that's still energy that you're putting out and you don't want anything that you're saying about other people to come back on you unless it's something you really don't mind happening in your life okay so that's all i'm saying cancer don't you know don't be out here calling people bald head bitches <laughs> Okay, BHBs, 
God damn can serve. BDB, I don't know why I'm here, BDB child. And then look at these little things around the sunflower. Don't they look like some little BDBs? Child, I woke up in a very good mood today, y'all. I don't know what's going on, but I like it. <laughs> what's the action? I'm just saying, if they a bald head bitch, it's okay. But we ain't got to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to talk about that. We going to pray and hope that they hear grow okay hope that spirit send them some miracle growth serum to help grow their edges back grow their hair in you know what i mean only positive energies honey because that energy is going to come right back to you anyway it's like you being you being nice to yourself just look at it like that anybody you interact with is really a reflection of you anyway so at the end of the day you really just being nice and being good to you Okay. <laughs> What's the action? Some of y'all make sure you're not getting caught up with distractions right now as well. Ooh, child. Ooh, look what flew out, y'all. Who intuition popping today before I get the card? What you think this is that fell out on the flow? I'm about to get it. Oh, Lord, it's so far out of reach, but I got it. <clears throat> what is this card that I'm holding up in my hand, Cancer? For those of y'all watching the play, but you ain't got to type it because sometimes it take a little long to type. You, as long as you know that you called it, honey. And I know some of y'all didn't called it. You feel it. Some of y'all watching the playback. If you got time, you can type it in the comments, honey, or you can just, you know, say it to yourself, child. Boom. Boom, shaka laka, shaka laka, shaka laka. It's that wheel of motherfucking fortune. It literally came out in the very beginning of the spread, y'all. Do you remember? Do you remember the time? <laughs> Somebody say, do you remember the time that y'all fell in love? Michael Jackson just popped in my head like that, child. Somebody's name could be Michael. Somebody's last name could be Jackson. That can even be somebody's first name because people name, you know, there are people who has have that name as their first name as well. But, um... Uh, do you remember the time that you fell in love? Oh, somebody got some, somebody say they got complicated feelings for you. Like they, their feelings for you overwhelm the fuck out of them. And this somebody who don't like that kind of shit. I'm just saying. Maybe they used to being in control. This somebody, and they feel like the way they feel about you puts them in a space of vulnerability. And that's what they don't like. Bottom of the deck, look at you, Cancer. Women, six of motherfucking wands. Some of you guys are definitely receiving promotions, rewards within your career. Just a lot of success that's coming your way. Um, somebody could live in Texas. I don't know why, but King Dingaling just give me Texas, boy. <laughs> The country boys ain't nothing to play with, Cancer. Don't get, don't fuck around and find out what's up under that towel he got wrapped around him, okay? It's going to have your head fucked up. I'm just saying, child, fuck around with them country boys. You see them waters, don't play with it. Don't play with it, don't play with it. <laughs> Some of y'all, that's what it is. You done met somebody, child. Some of y'all, I'm here like first date. First date was great. Now you obsessed. Look at this shit. Or you, somebody is going out on a first date with you and now they obsessed. I don't know, child. I 
Okay, jangling, jangling. What is the wheel of fortune? Six of swords headed towards greatness, Cancer. Can I get you to type that into the chat? I'm headed towards greatness. You damn right you are, Cancer. Bottom of the deck, the eight of wands. Oh, yes. Why I just thought about Dr. Umar when I said, oh, yes. Y'all know he be saying that. <laughs> Dr. Umar be killing me. Do you hear me? You might know somebody named Umar for him to pop up in my damn head like that, child. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Y'all know he love to say shit in threes, child. He got to say it three times. Some of y'all are getting signs in like threes. It's coming to you triple because spirit is like, flash, pay attention. You see me? Are you getting the message? Are you receiving the message? Incoming, incoming. Somebody about to get a message, a text, a phone call, an email. Some of you are going to be hearing from somebody that you have been at a distance from. So it's giving like maybe distance physically speaking, okay? Or this is emotional distance. Somebody who ain't really been crossing your mind. You know what I'm saying? Mental distance. You like, shit, I ain't thought about this person. I haven't, you know, it's going to surprise you, Eight of Wands. I also feel like these are surprises when it comes to a legacy of wealth. That's what you're building. Oh, yes. <laughs> Cancer, can I get you to type? I'm building a legacy of wealth. And that's what the freak you're headed towards. Yes, Cancer, time is a ticking. The time is ticking. Spirit is waiting on you to take action towards something. Or some of you are about to be doing something. Something you've been planning for. Maybe you've been saving for something big. I don't know. Well, soon you're going to be taking action on whatever this is and moving towards it. <clears throat> I feel like somebody is also gossiping about your money. Some of y'all in a same sex connection, same sex just flipped over in my hand, but I'm not quite finished with this base spread just yet. Don't forget to like the video for those of y'all who are resonating with the message thus far but somebody talking about your money somebody talking about whatever it is that you're doing for yourself some of y'all somebody talking shit because they feel like your focus you focused on the wrong things or something like that five of swords to the eight of pentacles i'm looking at like going in this triangle right here okay um so yeah some of y'all having some got some jealous bitches on your job this is hate coming from a work environment oh yeah cancer spirit say go ahead and take a chance and step out into that unknown this hate could be trying spirit's way of pushing you out of the door leaving something that is no longer beneficial for you it's been beneficial for the time that it was beneficial honey and now spirit says it's no longer needed and you gotta now put your faith what this coin say in god we trust put your faith in the divine honey free yourself liberty yeah you are the key cancer huh. your confidence is the key to unlock every door that you think has been locked to you what you're going to find out is that there is no door locked to you because you the key. You got the master key. That means it unlocks any door. You know what that's making me think of? Crazy, but skeleton key, child. Remember that movie, Skeleton Key? 
what's the king of wands that's interesting how that just popped up in my head some of you guys your relationship is moving to new heights oh yes you didn't met an official person and i must say for some of y'all you could have met this official person um maybe in the past but there were certain distractions certain complications that caused a separation others of you this is somebody new and it's giving soulmate two of cups i'm hearing blasts from your past Somebody's name could be Mike. Seven of Wands. This is setting boundaries. This is working hard. You could have people blaming you upset with you because you decided to turn your back and put yourself first, basically. You set boundaries with people and they show their true colors. That's how you know that it's time to release their ass. And some of y'all got to stand on that whenever you see the fuckery. Because I did mention that somebody could be having a fallout with a friend or a friend group. Either way, the five of swords is going to rear its head and you're going to see that somebody is jealous. Someone is envious of where your life is headed. This could be somebody who feels some kind of way because they feel like they cannot control you or they feel like you're doing better than them. They see you up and now they in their feelings. They want to talk shit, cancer. Hmm. Also, if you're doing business with somebody, sometimes the King of Wands gives me like boss or somebody you could be doing business with. Official person too is giving business uh, situations. Don't let somebody distract you by running off at their mouth. You know how sometimes people be they try to talk to you like in a friendly way like you know to kind of get you to let your guards down and they be really trying to distract you from the fact that they are they're trying to kind of fuck you over in a way cancer i don't know how else to say it oh i'll use this as an example uh let's say because I recently heard somebody say this in a vlog, child. She basically said she was out and the somebody was trying to sell her something on the street. And the guy was really nice, right? Official person doing business. The guy was really nice trying to sell her something on the street. And she gave him her debit card. And he ended up charging her card way more money than uh, he was supposed to charge her. So basically distracting her with this little innocent, nice routine or act but all the while they doing some shady shit it, it's kind of making me think of something like that child i don't know all right what's the five of swords some of you this could be look concern all I'm going to say, if somebody did do something like that, don't concern yourself with it. They the ones that should be concerned because that's some shit that they putting out, ill intention. And oh, believe it's coming back to that ass. Okay, Cancer? Don't allow it to put you in a negative space with this negative energy. All right? Releasing negative energy. Others of you, I feel like this somebody who... 
some of y'all this a past situation like i mentioned you could have a fallout with a father figure or some of y'all have a father figure that's wanting to heal something with you and that's what they're concerned about they've been thinking about you a lot lately maybe thinking about whatever took place between you and them with the five of swords and it doesn't have to be a father it could be a father figure as well okay Somebody is saying they want to release the negative energy between you and them. Others of you, this could be someone who is a father. So if you dated somebody who has a child or children, this person could definitely be thinking a lot about you, thinking about the things that may have distracted them or caused some sort of negativity to build up between you and them. They want to release this. And that's what has been kind of like a pressing concern on their mind. Somebody really is a bald head scallywag. <laughs> Ain't got no hair in the back, top, front, or sides. <laughs> Portia um, could also be significant. Uh, what's the distractions? And the clouds. Somebody, I, I, as soon as I said clouds, I thought a purple cloud. Somebody getting hot. Some of y'all, somebody know that you are destined for fame and fortune. And that has that has been some shit that's been really concerning for this person. They don't want you to know this shit. They want you to look at certain obstacles to give up on yourself, to feel defeated. Mm. Because if you wake up and really start taking action as the king of wands yourself, believing in yourself trusting in your fame your fortune the fortune over your life honey there is nothing that you cannot accomplish and somebody knows this it could be multiple people who know that you are very official it don't get no more official than you and as soon as you release the negativity as soon as you release the pressing concerns from your mind that's whenever you're going to start to see things take off for you in ways that you never thought before, in ways that you never could have imagined, honey. Somebody's name could be Rebecca. Some of y'all definitely cleansing your energy of someone or something. Somebody could be taking a bath or a shower while listening. Don't have to be right now. Could also be whenever you catch the playback. I don't know, child. Somebody could be doing a detox, uh, like cleansing your body. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Main woman. Somebody is saying that they look at you as the type that's like wifey, hubby material. Some of y'all, this somebody you met at work or will meet at work, okay? Others of you is kind of giving like main character energy, right? Your focus is on yourself and your glow up. And Cancer, you're about to experience a glow up like no other, honey. You're, you're getting unstuck. If you've been feeling stuck, stagnant, like things just not moving how you expected them to move, child, things are about to take off in such a quick way that it's going to be surprising Look at the judgment, honey. That is your divine judgment over your life. Why is the moon here? Somebody could be gardening. Some of y'all, once again, spending time in nature, eating uh, more like organically, healthily. This could be something that is either a goal or something that you're doing 
some of you guys could be eating more salads this making me think of salad right now all this greenery child some of y'all this that green that za <laughs> Uh, this is also making me think of like the seven of pentacles as well. So the seeds that you have planted, look at how they growing. You didn't know, but spirits say they growing, honey. Okay, your garden is flourishing. You may not see this just yet, but something is definitely going to be revealed to you very soon. What's the chance? Nathan, somebody's name could be Nathan or Ray Ray. Guess cleanse wanted to be on the table, huh? Some of y'all spirit is saying a reward is coming in and green making me think of them dollar dollar bills, y'all. So something financial, a financial reward new resource resource asset is going to be coming in when you least expect it if you have been having like financial concerns and worries that's something that you got to release currently as well cancer Some of you guys may be making certain changes within your career or like reputation. Six of Swords. New love connection lies ahead. Some of y'all are going to meet a Gemini. Now, this could be a lover for some of you. Others of you, this is doing business with a Gemini. Or you may have Gemini placements. Wealthy man. Brazil could also be significant or legal and court matters. Some of y'all may be dealing with some legal court matters or something like that. And you're receiving some sort of wealth reward what's the action pathway but this flipped on the table face down oh cancer look 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 tens all across the board child it's unexpected money did i not start this out talking about unexpected miracles and countless blessings child distant horizons is at the bottom some of y'all definitely traveling i'm even hearing like world travel some of you this somebody who you at a distance with from spirit is like something about international child maybe um as soon as i said international i heard i'm not internationally known but i'm known to rock the microphone because i get stupid i mean outrageous like some of y'all i don't know child some of y'all got them got that fire you spit hot fire in the booth honey maybe something connected to music is taking off for you guys somebody could be communicating with you through music at a distance some of y'all are just musically gifted talented your gifts and your talents is what's being seen so if you've been feeling like that's something that people have not been seeing and it's been causing concern mental frustration and strife because it's like you know that you are popping you know that you 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 know you putting out some good shit basically cancer fame and fortune but it's like people have not been picking up on it it hasn't been being seen 
seen. It's been being suppressed, whatever. Guess what? That is about to shift. That's about to turn around. Some of y'all may even meet somebody that uh, makes music, raps, make beats, child. I don't know. If you've been concerned, feeling like lonely, I don't have anybody official in my corner. Some of you, that's something that's shifting. And this is like somebody who wants to plant seeds with you. And spirit is saying, take a chance on this person or something. Some of you guys that write could also be getting like book publishing deals. I'm also hearing agents. Somebody want to sign you to an agency. I don't know, child. This wealthy man is making me think of like a big company agency wants to work with you. Things that you did not see before are coming to light along of uh yeah along your spiritual journey or path somebody is also like in this energy of awe they don't like what you have become or are becoming they've been seeing you overcome all the obstacles all the blockades you've been Slamming through them bitches, cancer. Okay, busting through. Going over, under, around, or even through, like I said, said obstacles. Nothing has been able to stop you. And somebody is like, I can't believe this shit. I can't believe who cancer has become and is continuously evolving into People are seeing, it's like people could have, you know, witnessed certain struggle, adversity in your life. And they probably thought you wasn't going to make it past this shit, Cancer. Because they was too distracted by their own projections of how they see themselves. They know they wouldn't have got through that shit. So they didn't think you would get through that shit. But you did. Okay, give the video a thumbs up, you guys. We got 72 likes, honey, 122 people. 222 could be significant for some of y'all. You could your birthday could be July 2nd. Okay, seven and two is a number nine. So release the stress, release the concern right now, Cancer. Uh, somebody could be in nursing, B BSN. Somebody, okay. BSN could be significant. Some of you guys, that number seven that I was talking about earlier, you're finding your true purpose. July 6th could be your birthday, honey, but take that how it resonates. What's this uh, official person? And I'm hearing 401k. Look, something is definitely coming in with the quickness. Somebody winking at you, Cancer. Who flirting with you? Somebody is fine, masculine or feminine. Sexy, honey. They flirting too. Others of you, this is like an unexpected return for, for some. Look at that seven of pentacles falling right beside the garden. Oh, yes. Cancer. What's the fame and fortune? 
for my cancers. Nine of Pentacles, because you single and abundant on your own. Some of y'all dealt with people who were very unreliable in your past. But spirit was saying with the judgment, this was something, this was the contract that you signed to connect with people, two of cups, who you felt like you either loved them, you thought they loved you, maybe you thought, oh, this is my family, so they supposed to love me, yada, yada, yada. But with the seven of wands to the five of swords, there were complications in these dynamics. Why? Because spirit says one of the lessons that you came here to learn is how to be supportive of your motherfucking self, Cancer. How to love yourself, Cancer. How to believe in yourself, Cancer. How you going to do that if you got everybody around you boosting you up to help you be able to believe in yourself, help you to love yourself? No, you needed some opposition. And that's what I feel like the Five of Swords has been. Now, some of you have allowed this op opposition to create certain evils in your mind right so what i mean by evils is not like in the typical sense of the word i'm just talking about distrust not believing in yourself thinking negatively about yourself and your life so you start you know believing in the ghost child creating the ghosts in your damn mind and believing in them giving them power and those have been the seeds that have grown but some of you have reversed reversed this energy and you are no longer distracted by the things that you feel are opposition the things that come in and it's like they you perceive them as opposition or you would have perceived it as opposition in the past. Now you just see it for what it is. An illusion, honey. A motherfucking illusion. It's not real. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's just a test. It's just to test your mental capa capabilities. And because of this, maybe with it, that's another thing people have been concerned about. Like, damn. As soon as you start to really realize your power, there is no stopping you. Ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. Yes, Cancer, you on the motherfucking move. Can I get somebody to type? Ain't no stopping me now. I am on the move. Yeah. Some of you guys could be born in 81. Looked at the computer again, child. We got 81 likes. What's wrong, Kansas? Oh, we just got a lot of ops in here today. Is that what it is? Damn, and they steady coming in, too. And just complete opposition. Ain't that some shit? Distant Horizons. Hope you enjoy the reading regardless. Okay, I'm sending you love anyway. Sending it to me through you. Yeah bedroom cancer some of y'all this is a romantic connection that's coming in somebody is about to move into a new home with the bedroom that's a room in a home so some of y'all definitely getting a new place or a new job take it how it resonates but I also feel like this is a more intimate connection here. Some of y'all, this blast from the past is definitely somebody you had an intimate relationship with. Okay. What's the eight of pentacles and the main woman? Ooh, cancer. Somebody coming in with a stable offer for you darling yes king pentacles king of pentacles um that is a number nine now the eight of pentacles to the king of pentacles is the nine of pentacles right so this person is definitely single and i feel like they're also very stable as well masculine or feminine okay 
this person wants a stable connection with you something that is committed something that's long term somebody is definitely thinking long term some of y'all masculines could be focused on like stabilizing yourself because you want to have a family you want to be married you want family in the future so your focus eight of pentacles is on your financial stability right now and you're doing the damn thing because you single and abundant on your own as is just imagine when you got the right person on your team with this main woman okay there is nothing that you won't be able to grow accomplish for yourself that's the unknown aspect of things though like when will it come in when will you meet this person that makes you want to settle down don't worry because it's coming in with the wheel of fortune being here in the future tense okay others of you for my feminines this could be something you're thinking about like stabilizing yourself thinking about the future wondering possibly if you're ever going to meet this king of pentacles right but i see that you've been planting seeds and you're continuing to move forward even in the unknown cleansing yourself of all the negativity that can come against your mind when it comes to past relationships trust issues and things of that nature that can kind of create blockages when it comes to you manifesting that type of love that you're looking for somebody could sidetrack somebody could also be having dreams about water like bodies of water being on water um i don't know rain it could be raining in your dream maybe you i don't know cancer something about dreams co connected to water but back to what i was saying and you're taking a chance spirit is like uh chance is also given like the game of chance so something a connection is going to actually come in uh when you least expect it for others of you i feel like you have either already met this king of pentacles and you're talking about the future and some of y'all are needing, needing to cleanse yourself of the negative thoughts and distrust connected to this connection because you're not used to dealing with people who are stable people who are reliable you used to dealing with flighty ass people and so it's like nerves your nerves is bad your nervous system is used to emotional roller coasters whereas this person is not a uh, hot and cold hot and cold back and forth back and forth type of game and that could be creating a lot of fear and anxiety that needs to be released cancer others of you you could have met somebody child this person they might be attractive because the king of wands is here back here but you're looking for a king of pentacles you're not looking for a temporary fling but some of y'all are gonna allow yourself to be distracted with this person anyway and you're trying to build seven of pentacles with somebody who is really in the five of swords which means that they're lying okay they're not to be trusted they fly the night of uh swords you think that they could be official because that's how they present themselves but that is a lie it is a mask and in the end it's like with the nine of pentacles you're gonna have to release this person and learn how to enjoy your singlehood regardless but take that how it resonates child it, it, you gotta know who you dealing with that's all i can say Letitia, what's this garden and teamwork? Or Renee, a salon. See, somebody, somebody is in something that's temporary. Others of you, this is a new beginning. When it comes to like work or or spirit is saying this, somebody who want another chance. 
even be careful with that kind of shit, Cancer. You could have people coming back in towards you. You just got to use your spirit of discernment when it comes to people and stop um, doubting your intuition because your intuition is on point, honey. So you got to learn to trust in it more. And another thing, when you're having issues with trusting in your intuition, spirit going to send in more situations that you got to learn how to trust your intuition, which possibly means it's going to be opposition. OK, that's the best thing to create growth is opposition. Yeah, you know I'm saying so if you have a problem, OK, you're you meeting somebody that's operating in this five of swords and you feel it intuitively, but you're not trusting it and you're not listening to it and you just hoping that you're wrong. You're going to continue to manifest people that's going to enter in that five of damn swords until you learn how to trust what your intuition is telling you about people. So the best way to, you know, combat this is to start trusting yourself, Cancer. That is when you will complete the cycle and you will start to cleanse your energy of this type of shit. Okay, that's all I can say. Changes. Didn't I say big changes lie ahead for you? Somebody is definitely packing up and moving or travel. Um, some of you, this could be a change within you. Like I said earlier, a change within luck and fortune. Others of you, this is change within your uh, relationship status. Right now, we are dealing with the North and South Nodes being in Aries and Libra. So a big spotlight on relationships either relationships that need to be released or relationships coming together that are beneficial because you have stepped into north node in aries is focused on your identity you are no longer having identity issues you know your worth and your value you are setting out to accomplish the things that you want in your life, which is also helping you when it comes to identifying yourself. Some of y'all relationship changes could be occurring. That's also shifting your identity. And what do I mean by that? Let's say you were married. You identified yourself as a married man, married woman. Okay, if you are a married woman, you possibly even took on your husband's name. If you get a divorce, you that's a name change that's changing your location. Like it's a change within your identity now. You're no longer seeing yourself as married or whatever the case may be. So things like that are the highlight right now. Okay. And the more you move towards this energy of healing identity issues, if I'm not mistaken, I also mentioned that Chiron is in Aries right now, the wounded warrior. So we're talking healing wounds with how you see yourself. If it's things about you don't about yourself that you don't like. You've been healing these things instead of, oh, well, other people think that I should look like this. Libra energy. Get along. You know, I just I don't want to really take the lead. I'm going to just go along with what everybody wants. Try to be what everybody wants me to be. Child, you can't be everything for everybody. That's why you got to learn how to be what you need to be for yourself. Somebody could have been in the army. Be all you can be. Okay. Also, um, back to what I was talking about, identity issues. You look in the mirror, what do you see? What, what types of things do you say about yourself? You find yourself calling yourself ugly, saying negative things about your appearance, your body, whatever this is that's what you're supposed to be healing right now with the north node in aries and releasing feeling like you gotta fit in with the bunch with the crowd libra energy which is in the south node right i hope that's making sense child you gotta be your own ace boom coon cancer 
Moonstone could also be significant. Five of Swords. Here we go with that Five of Swords shit again. Some of y'all in a love connection that you're going to end up leaving. Because you're going to start to see done remember you're gonna something is gonna be exposed about somebody with a lying ass and i see you moving away from the distraction others of you hmm. this is moving away from obstacles moving away from a certain mentality some of you are moving away from people that you've been doing business with that are haters. So what do I mean by that? You could live somewhere and your neighbors are haters and you release in this goddamn neighborhood, right? Maybe you live somewhere and you know, it's like a rental kind of agreement and the people that you're renting from is some hating bitches okay or somebody that you that work in the office somewhere that you don't like or they don't like you or on a job that's what you're leaving behind so you're changing jobs changing neighborhoods leaving the neighborhood behind i don't know cancer some of y'all leaving the whole a whole country behind so take that high resume you know what i'm saying some of y'all gonna see oh uh, i'm seeing something with world news right now and i'm gonna just say it remember i said something about world leaders falling from power five of swords now this <laughs> <laughs> uh joe joe is coming to mind biden okay may fall from power may not make it to his election now this could be because five of swords the people that you supporting that you in bed with yeah i'm saying uh, in world news you supporting this fuckery so it's a lot of people who don't like that that the u.s is standing with a said country right now on some bullshit, and so these people are like fuck that i'm not voting for you or maybe it's something health related with the garden energy being here in the middle of the spread going this way um this person could end up having some health issues and that's what makes them fall from power but that's just a speculation okay i'm saying that for entertainment purposes only <laughs> and we'll just see what happens captain but you're gonna start to see a lot of strange shit unfold when it comes to world issues cancer the distant horizons the will of fortune is also making me think global so on a large scale what's happening within government uh shifts of power different people are leaving i'm no longer supporting this group this alliance and i'm gonna go over here and make an alliance with these people that's kind of going to be seen as well just you know letting you know child what's the wheel of fortune but that's just once again a speculation for y'all's entertainment okay <laughs> wheel of fortune and the wealthy man oh geez this is way too many y'all somebody from your past is feeling rejected feeling neglected and they want your attention somebody wants to make peace with you like i said this could be a family figure uh uh yeah family figure this could be an ex or even an old friend child 46 could be significant april 6 may be significant for some of y'all some of y'all somebody trying to hold on to you because they see your worth and your value my love april 8th that's the solar eclipse you see that 8 4 or 48 yeah 
Some of y'all could be born in 84. Somebody wants to heal a connection, fix a connection, do the right thing. I also see this as legal matters. You're gaining some sort of resource or assets through legalities or even divorce. All right. 2004 to 2006 could be significant for some of y'all too. Maybe 2004 is significant, 2005 or 2006. Or hell, all three of them years could be significant for somebody. What did I say about the exposure? Somebody's friend groups being exposed and you're going to be making decisions, big changes in that regard. Some of y'all are reconciling and that's going to be a big change within whatever connections. OK, um, healing and reconciling or seeing someone's true colors and leaving their ass behind. That's what I'm seeing. Also, on a global scale, child, y'all going to be seeing a lot of alliances being broken and new alliances being made. Some of you are celebrating good news. Somebody could be celebrating good news surrounding pregnancy. Somebody could be celebrating a new relationship, a new home, a new job, just something new. Lemons, pumpkins, raspberries, blueberries. <laughs> they all standing out to me right now. Raspberry lemonade just came to my mind, child. I don't know, Cancer. What is this? Seven of Cups, honey. Everything that was like under that that has been being done. In the illusion, the illusions are being broken. Age of Aquarius. That's another way I see the Wheel of Fortune. We are no longer in the age of Pisces, Seven of Cups, where shit is hidden. People is saying shit right in the open, but it's not clicking. It ain't connecting in the mind. You're not putting two and two together. Now people are putting two and two the fuck together on a world scale. You know what I'm saying? People is even going back in time like, oh my God, you seen they did this. They said that. They put this in that. They put this in this child and and now you're realizing damn how asleep you have been okay i'm also hearing fun in the sun amusement parks could be significant something something significant about an amusement park others of you Seven of Cups, if somebody at one point in time in the past was dealing with a lot of confusion, illusions, distractions, concerns connected to you, they're saying that they can see clearly now. They are no longer under the same illusions, spells, distractions, having the same concerns. And this is why they're coming towards you. Somebody is just hoping that whatever has been done, you can find it within yourself to forgive. Remember, I saw the sun and the three of cups. And that's what's going to be basically the basis of whether or not you're going to reconcile with somebody. Others of you, you got a lot of choices, options in love that you do not see yet, but you're going to be seen. So I see a lot of you guys are also on the dating scene, dating, enjoying your dating life. And not to mention opportunities when it comes to financial abundance and prosperity flowing in cancer unexpected seven of cups miracles that you do not see countless blessings light up ahead and you're leaving behind that five of swords strife worry frustration stress what's the pathways 
some some of y'all got somebody head fucked up uh, once again about how you're doing what you're doing earlier we saw the empress pop up now we got the emperor so two divine masculine and divine feminines uh i'm sorry divine masculine and divine feminines are coming together be this a new person a past person you're coming together there is no more illusion there is no more distraction interference for you and this person this counterpart to come together all that damn interference is a thing of the past that's what's behind you six of six of swords minus the five of swords is the ace of swords a new beginning starting with clarity so whatever whoever the opposition the interference has been they being removed they're the ones being eclipsed the fuck out of something for some of y'all some of y'all this is a job as i mentioned before a new place some of you are definitely being placed in new positions of power. Mm, I can't make it up. And we got the freaking hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Um, I'm going to say this too, because uh, the flags, I just kind of glimpsed, glanced over there and seen the flag. Expectations. Somebody is exceeding your expectations. And I thought about Texas, because child, when I stayed in Texas, they got so many flags out there, child. <laughs> And there could be a lot of tension, five of swords, specifically brewing in Texas. So just keep that in mind, too. You know, with that border control, uh, seven of wands kind of makes me think about war and battle surrounding spirituality or religion, like a holy war or something. But I digress. Once again, this is for entertainment purposes only, and it's just speculation. But Lord, look at the sun. Look at the sun. Look at the star, child. Do we not see what is going Monumental changes, honey. Okay, religious wars. I don't know. Take that how it resonates, though. You know, for those of y'all who pay attention to the news, just pay attention. Keep keep your eyes open. Okay. Leading up to this solar eclipse and even after the solar eclipse, at least six months after. Up to six months after. Because a lot of this stuff is not happening instantaneously. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take some time to unfold. But that is also something I'm going to say it first. You know what I'm saying? Uh, look, world leaders, people in power, I'm just saying, being exposed, just saying, entertainment purposes. But back to our lives, you guys are going, some of y'all are entering new relationships. Divine masculine, divine feminine is coming together. This is a divine event. These are blessings these are miracles the star the sun the hierophant happening unexpectedly knight of wands meaning like quickly so it's kind of unexpected some of y'all then turn the player they say they want to be married child they hanging up they they play a hat turning in they play a card somebody say that's the change okay cancer i like this for you honey this month is gonna end with a big shebang okay those are your messages if the messages resonated my dears and you have not already done so give the video a thumbs up also feel free to share down below in the comments and i'm gonna catch you guys later in another one until then take care cancer